You probably heard the old saying, no pain, no gain. Pain is not fun. However, there can be triumph through pain. Today, I'm going to share a special message, have a special conversation with you on leaders and communicators. So stick around. Hey, it's a trigger, Rich Bontrager. Welcome back to another Leaders and Communicators. I share in from my 25 years as a professional speaker and leader. 25 years as a broadcaster, as a pastor, and I've been on stage well over a thousand times sharing hopeful, inspiring messages. And today is no different than that. Eh, maybe a little bit different than that. So if you could, give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment down below as we're going to be talking about triumph through pain. Mm. No one likes pain. Nobody. But the fact is right now, as we record this on March 26, 2020, we are in the middle of a pandemic, the coronavirus. And it's very tough. The, the news accounts, the number counts are all going up. The political stuff is out of control. There's just a lot of pain, hardship. People are not working. People are laid off. People are stuck at home under the safe rule of no touching, no sharing, no hugging, uh, social distancing. All these things are going on right now. And there's a lot of pain. But I want to give you some hopeful tips because today is actually a very special day in my life. Today, I am celebrating three years since my transplant at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Three years ago today, March 26, 2017, I received a liver transplant, and now I'm an UNOS ambassador, sharing and talking about the power and the amazing impact that a liver transplant will have on your life and an organ donation. But it wasn't always that way. There's a lot of pain that goes through this on the slow decline, the loss of a job, financial strains, emotional, mental. There's a lot of pains that go into it, much like we're going through today. So today, I want to give you five important keys to remember about triumph through pain. I hope these help you through our tough times right now. And number one is push through the pain. I think the human spirit is far more stronger than we can ever imagine. I learned that personally myself over the course of my life. I talk about defining the odds. There's been a lot of pain, a lot of hardship from my stutter to my burn accident to many things that I had to push through the pain. But the most painful time was going through my liver transplant and the recovery process. 24 hours after my transplant, the male doctors come in by my bedside and say, you need to get up and walk today. You need to get out of bed today. We just ripped you apart we put you all back together. I am medicated up to a very high level. I have tubes and cords running all over me. And they say, you need to get out of bed and you need to walk. Let me tell you, the first time I sat up in bed and tried to lean over my bed was excruciating. Some of the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. And I have a very high pain tolerance. But that I could not control. There was nothing that I could do. And they said, get up, grab that little two-wheeler, and start walking. So my mom takes all my little cords and takes her little pole, and I start walking. I did not make one lap around the nurse's station. That was not the goal that day. The day was just to get out of bed and start moving through the pain. Mayo has a very aggressive program to push through that pain, and I went out of the hospital hands-free in five days. Transplant on Saturday, Sunday night I'm walking, and Thursday I'm out going back to my hotel for recuperation. Push through the pain. You are far stronger than what you think. We can take a lot more than what we can think. It's not fun. It's not easy. But there is so much more in the human spirit and human condition. I believe we can rise up and you can push through the pain we're experiencing right now, whatever it is. Believe me, my financial life was blown up. My personal career, I'm still rebuilding three years later. 
but you can push through the pain and get back up. I'm doing it right now, and I'm having the time of my life pushing through the pain. Second was adjust to the now. We need to adjust to the now. We all know that we're living in a different world right now, and we don't know what's all going to come out on the other side. We know there's going to be major ramifications of shutting down universities, schools, businesses, industry. We know there's going to be big ramifications. You can't worry about the big, big picture right now, but you can worry about the now. Every day I had to get up and take another walk, take another step. I had to increase my walking through my brother's neighborhood. And I went from a small walk through the living room to a small walk to the front porch, a small walk around the pond that wasn't even a quarter of a mile to eventually back up to two miles, three miles. And now I'm hiking in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. And I've moved cross country from Georgia to Colorado. But you have to work with the now. This is our new now, and you have to adjust yourself to what you can do now. But here's the key to living in the now. Have goals. Have aspirations. Have things you want to get to. My driving thing was, this is now. I want to get in the broadcast booth for kickoff come August with my play-by-play partner, and we will have a great time. I love being in the booth. And that was my goal, my long dream goal. And I had to get through four months of the pain and the day by day and the cleanup and the repairing of the body and the restoring of the body and not carrying anything more than 10 pounds. That's one milk jug. I couldn't lift more than 10 pounds, but I had to get up and live in the now. Learn to do that. Embrace what's in front of you right now and learn to adapt and still have goals and aspirations because we will get back up. I got back up. And you can get back up. Number three is have a support team. I had the great support team in the hospital of some fantastic nurses. My mom flew in from Arizona. Uh, I was going through a divorce at the time. So my mom flew in to be my caregiver. My older brother had invited me to his house during the decline and the final year before ultimately needing the transplant. And he also was one of my caregivers. You need a support team with you. And I cannot tell you how great it was to have nurses and doctors that got my quirky sense of humor and cut it up with me and teased me and played and had great time because I have a warped sense of humor. I love the laugh and in spite of the pain, we had a great time with a great support team. They would cheer when you go around the corner and do one lap and they are like, you can do another. You need a cheerleader team right now. You need a support team, your friends, your families, your coworkers. It may be on Skype, it may be on Zoom, it may be on iPhone chat, but we can cheer each other on. Right now, one of the tools I'm using is the Nextdoor app, and I'm getting to know the Longmont people where I live in Longmont now, and I'm getting to know them through this. Not face-to-face, but I am getting to know them, and there's a support team in our neighborhood keeping watch, supporting each other, making food runs, and doing things that only we can do together. Find your support team virtual or real, and work that support team. Number four of my top five things, triumph through pain, celebrate. I love a good celebration. So I learned through this, celebrate the big and the small. Often we just want the big. We're just looking for the woo, the real big woos. No, 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 no. There's a lot of small benchmarks, a lot of small celebrations, a lot of small things that we get to go through right now. They're not the big grand parties, but here's what you need to learn. Celebrate them like they are the big grand parties. The first time I had a pizza was 24 hours after my transplant, sitting in bed. The doctors are asking me to eat some good hearty food. I have tubes everywhere. I can barely move. And they're like, pick anything on the food menu. And I said, even that pizza? And they said, yes. And I ate a pizza. I celebrated like it was the greatest pizza in the world. I had not had a good piece of pizza. It was hospital pizza. Let's be honest. (laughs) But it tasted like the best Chicago pizza in the world. I celebrated that. Oh, my gosh. I celebrated. Celebrate. Bigger than you think right now. The small victories. And when you get to the big victories, oh, pull out all the stops even bigger. But we need to learn to celebrate and celebrate for each other. 
And finally, my fifth one is embrace each day. This one I don't talk about too much when I talk about my transplant, but I almost did not make it through my transplant. Actually, I made it through the transplant. I got back to my bed. I was sitting in bed. The nurses and doctors were updating my brother and relaying how the transplant had gone. And I began to lose cognitive ability. I began to realize I was hearing, but I could not speak. And a nurse caught my eye and ran out of the room and hit the panic button. And four doctors came flying in that door, popped down my bed and rolled me out of the room. And I was passed out and I was gone before I got to the elevator. I do not remember anything for not quite 24 hours. I thought I was gone. My brother thought he was gone. My last words to him that I could barely get out was, you've got the ball. And we both knew that meant my living will and all those sort of things that you don't want to talk about. You get back up from something like that and every day is a gift. Every day is an amazing gift. You need to go live and go live and you need to embrace every day right now with your family, your friends, your life, those little walks through the park that you're taking right now that you can only do during certain hours because we're all shut down. Embrace the day when you get to go play in the backyard with your child and throw a football in the backyard right now. Embrace everything that you can embrace and make it the best you can because you never know when you're going to crash. And you never know when that moment is when there is no coming back. Thankfully, I have an amazing faith. I believe in the eternal. I believe in God. And I have an amazing faith that has helped me through all of this. That's a big other piece of it to get through the pain. There is a power, a force, a faith in God Almighty that has kept me alive and going. But when you crash and you get that next chance, embrace every day. So, three years today. I am celebrating a liver transplant, and I am living good and thanking God, and I appreciate all the love and support over those years, but you, too, can push through the pain. There's triumph through pain, and I believe, in spite of everything we're enduring, you're going to get back up, and we're going to rock this, and we're going to be a survivors. We will not be down forever. God bless. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.